Hey, hi, it's me, Good Good Mood Critsy Bear. Welcome, man. I need coffee. <clears throat> anyway, hi. Uh, two things before I get started here. Um, just you know, it won't be won't be too long. Uh, number one. Sorry about being gone for a couple of days there uh, in the Dwarf Fortress sector. This, uh, if you're watching from the future, it's no biggie. Don't worry about it. Don't even listen to me, all right? Don't even listen to me. You're only allowed to listen to this if you're from uh, the date of <clears throat> September 24th, 2018, I think. I think that's when I'm going to be uploading this. Whatever. Anyway, uh, don't worry about it. I've, I've just been really sick, and I actually intended to get another Dwarf Fortress episode out, um, but uh, unfortunately I ended up feeling too sick, but yo, boy, you know what I didn't end up being too sick for? Four episodes of Gothic, which is what I ended up having to upload, because, you know, I, yeah. I'm feeling better now, though. I'm, I'm feeling pretty much as sick as I was last episode, which is, you know, means that I'm starting to get better. You know, I'm on the other side of the hill now. I just got a little ways... To go, I'll be fine. Ah, number two, <clears throat> man, I love tabletop audio and everything, but uh, boy, let me tell you, after doing it for like four seasons of multiple different games, it's kind of starting to get a little old. <clears throat> kind of starting to get sick of it. Kind of starting to. Wish I had something else. You ever, you ever get into something with like really high hopes, and you're like, "Man, this is never gonna get old. I'll keep doing this." Uh, but then, like, by the time there's like formed an expectation that you're gonna be doing it, at least on like an expectation of your own, you're like, "Wow, this isn't sustainable at all." <clears throat> I pretty much run out of things to listen to on tabletop audio, at least in the specific context of uh, Cataclysm and Dwarf Fortress, and, um, everything else on the internet seems to be trash. Tabletop audio is, like, the only good one I've found, except for ones that require payment, and I'm not even sure if those are very good. Or I can steal copyrighted music, or I can use Free Music Archive, which is awful. Well, it's not awful, it's just... Awful in the way that I don't really like using things that tons of dudes use, you know? T tons tons of YouTube guys. It makes me feel like I'm 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 like show boast show being a being a YouTube guy, right? But this is my hobby. I do it for fun. I don't do it to be a to be an internet celebrity. Uh, yeah, sorry, I zoned out cuz I was reading something. Anyway, so uh, what I'm trying to get at is, uh, if you have, if you, if you have any any advice on a guy who wants to just listen to some cool ambience and maybe a little music in the background of his videos, uh, definitely hit me up. I would I would enjoy some advice. <clears throat> anyway, hey, let me get into the game now. Uh, what I wanted to do was hunt down where the heck that dragon went. Um. Before I get doing anything else, because last time, I think I found that my spear was woefully insufficient when it came to hunting night creatures. And I'm pretty sure there's a living night creature around here, so I want to make sure I avoid that. Um, when Ratso the rat died, I believe the dragon was around here. But he died on an alternate timeline, for, so for all I know, the dragon is anywhere. Now, the reason I'm looking for that, for that, a uh, dragon bones, goblins, whatever, is because, um, here, hey, hey, speaking of table dub audio, I kind of want to, um, shy away from music this episode, but I do want to just listen to some nice, chill, wild west wind. Hmm. Now, how about a different wind sound effect? Because this one's got kind of like a compression effect on it, and I don't like it. Da -da 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 -da. There. Other desert sound effects. It's loading. <clears throat> yeah, I just want to listen to some chill wind effects. Alright, I'm seeing a 
apparently I'm seeing tracks, but I'm not sure where I'm seeing them at. Uh, we got tracks down here. Doesn't look too heavy. That might be my tracks. Yeah, it looks like my tracks. Hold on, let me let me just mute for a sec. Anyway, hi. I was just pulling my nose and stuff. Didn't want to gross you out. Alright, so I'm starting to get to where that dang night creature was walking around, but... I guess a dragon ain't for me. Because it seems like he's entered into the void. But I'm not ready to go fighting another dang night creature without it. Let me see what that uh, Olive Fragrance is about. Yeah? Where is the Olive Fragrance? What's that track? What is it? Oh, it's my tracks. Alright, so is it, is it like a temple? Is it a tavern? What's going on there? Huh? There we go. That has less compression on it. I sense cats. Am I near it? Nope. I went down the wrong street, I guess. Stop it, cats. You're gonna lag me out. Uh, I hear the ducks. Alright, supposedly the thing is nearby. I don't know if it's a tavern or if I'm looking for a temple or what. Hey, how about here? Do we still see it? Nope. Can't be on this street. We still see it here yep is it over on this street over here nope where the heck is it what is going on here is it on this street maybe maybe hmm Well, now I'm in the range of the spicy whatever. Oh, dude, this uh, this market still has stuff in it. Look at that. Stop following me, cats. Uh, we got <clears throat> daggers. Okay. We got a oh, morning star. Okay. Everything else looks to be meat and bones, which is odd, but whatever. Okay, the cats weren't following me. They were just going around. Ah, uh, boy. I guess the buildings don't actually exist or something. Maybe... I was hoping for a temple. Did I get injured last time? No, I guess not. Must have been one of those copal attempts. Hmm. Alas, <clears throat> my seek for a temple to vandalize has turned up empty. Alright, well, I guess I shall turn my search to the wilds. Perhaps I can find a lair. I know that these locals are worthless for information. I've spoken to them and they have no idea how troubled they are. I mean, literally, they have no idea how troubled they are. I asked them, and they were like, well, let's see. Hey, guys, I would... What, what's going on with you? What are you, what are you pissed off about? I'm going to put you to sleep. How about that? Enraged? All right. Here I am. I will step in. Oh, uh, boy. Which one is the one I'm looking for? Ah, oh boy. Alright, so A, D, so B, surgeon. Oh, God. High eyebrows, human surgeon. Hush. Hush, my friend. Hush. Oh, oh, let me put my weapons away so they don't, like, think I'm gonna murder the guy. Okay. Be silent. I am here. Tis I, Rauru, 
sage of the deserts. And I command you. Uh oh. I failed to wrestle him. Ah, there we go. I command you sleep. Wow. Dude's resisting my choke. He's winded. He's not passing out. Uh oh. I don't want to. I don't want to murder him. What is going on with this dude? Dude's like. What? What? I said release. All oh, right, you got to release it twice with the chokehold. Okay. Oh god. My plan may have backfired somewhat. <clears throat> wow. Uh Friend. Why not cease your- Oh, there goes a stab to the head. Let us cease this pointless fighting, friend. And now we are in no quarter combat. Allow me to disarm you. Allow me to remove my shield, first of all. I will not raise arms to you. My staff is for men. Allow me to remove this tool of destruction. You got that. Hey, boy. Uh, interact with my... Ooh, I can't. Huh. I guess I gotta do it by the hand. Whatever, I grabbed his, uh, I grab grabbed his tool. Uh, I don't want to bash him in the head because I might, like, remove his spine. <laughs> oh, boy. I need, like, a non-lethal attack. Ah, his toe! Fantastic! Bash his toe. <laughs> Let's see, he tore apart the skin, bends, uh, tendon torn. I jabbed him in the, or bashed him in the foot, he fell over. Just consider it like some Jackie Chan leg swipe. Head, just a quick jab to the head. Come on. Bruising muscle. He's stunned now. I, I want to choke him. I want to make him pass out, but I... He doesn't seem like he's going to die. God dang it, this was supposed to be simple. It wasn't supposed to go this way. Get him in the guts. Just a good old jab to the guts. Oh, wow. He survived my jab, my my guts jab. He's, spo he's supposed to, like... There we go. Now he's sick. Uh, bruising the guts? No, yep, that's fine. My friend! Yield to me! You are outmatched. Or, uh, just cease your hostilities. <laughs> yeah, he's enraged at all enemies. Well, I would quiet time ya. But at least I am confident you will hurt nobody now. Oh, let me, um, put away my weapons and make sure I disarm him. Here. I'll take that. Where is it? Where's his knife? Did I take his knife? Hold on. Did I take his knife? Sandstone dagger, um... Doesn't look like it. Where's... Where'd his knife go? Hmm. Let me just confirm one more time. Uh, head, uh, throat, throat, uh, boy, thumbs, all his thumbs, teeth, oh, 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 I saw bronze. There's his knife. Alright, let me get that. I could also use the metal, so I am both disarming him and stealing his knife. Nope. Inventory knife. No, interact knife. There. Take that from him. Whoa, he... 
Oh man, I hate being an owl guy. He freaking took his knife back. I right, grab the knife. Grab the knife with my other hand too. Maybe that'll help. You must learn to to, <laughs> to disconnect yourself from your material possessions. For it is not it is is it is not the knife that makes you who you are. It is you that gives meaning to the knife. Okay, I have named the I have named the knife. Not what I meant to do. Uh, we did. Uh oh. Uh oh no, he broke my arm. What the fuck, dude? Oh man, come on. What the fuck? Oh god. All right, this is going way worse than I thought it would. Uh, I'm fine. I'm bruised. Ah. Alright. There's my shield. Oh boy. Here's, uh, here. Oh! I didn't take out my shield. Right, because I was wrestling him. Okay, stave. Time to go ham. Because now my life is in danger. Right? Do the dodge jab. To the east. Okay. Ooh. What? Oh, I'm stunned. Okay. Please dodge. Alright, come on. I should be fine. I got my shield and everything. Ah, I'm no longer stunned. Okay, just frickin' just take care of this. Alright. I didn't realize that he had me in a lock, because I was wrestling him. Get him with that jab. Oh, come on. Come on, get him with that jab. Fracturing the spine. I didn't want it to come to this, this uh, serious break of character, but I... I, I You should have just passed out when I choked you. Shoulda just passed out when I choked you. Oop, don't grab me. <sighs> shoulda, shoulda just, shoulda just passed out, dude. Shoulda just taken a nap like a good boy. Hello? Punch. Everyone here is going to hate me because I'm going to kill him. I mean, I could honestly probably break his arms, but that would open me up to being unable to dodge. Come on. Nope, do not grab me. No, sir. Got another foot jab. Alright, so in the future, don't try to kill enraged people. Pro heckin' tip. Please just pass out. Very easy, even more nauseous, which means even less likely to hit me. Oh, 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 oh! He's not enraged anymore. Yield! Or not. It, at least, can we, can we have a... See, yes, okay, fucking great. Hey, I'm not paralyzed! Great, alright, let me just walk this off. Right, we good? We would, Jesus, that didn't have to happen like that. Oh God, I'm, I'm hungry as heck. Uh, can I pick some anything here? 
prickleberries, but I can't transfer them to edible things. Right, let me put my stuff away and then go talk to somebody who doesn't know my name. Hello! <gasps> oh, oh, he already greeted me. Greetings! I am Phil! Uh, hello, I am Rahu. Tricked Trammel. Tricked Trammel? When that, where'd that come from? Is that because I murdered a guy? Oh, I didn't even murder him. I just beat him senseless until he calmed down. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> Life isn't fair, and sometimes you have to do some what you have to do. But working towards a balance isn't a bad thing. Uh, okay, I guess I agree with that. I can't remember what my opinions were. Anyway, uh, tell me about what's going on around here. Well, let's see. We've got armies on the march, beasts, and the missing treasure. Ooh, tell me about them beasts. Oh, uh, boy. Uh, ruin upon our people. The most graves is in the Ekru Hill. Seek this place if you hunt a cool owl banner. Owl banners? Uh, Shoggoth! Never mind. Uh, that's terrible. Different one, please. We've got armies, beasts, and missing person. Tell me about them beasts. Up, 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 up. Well, first of all, let me tell Bronze Colossus. Wow, I'm not sure I can beat a Bronze Colossus. Uh, where is it? Hill of Breaching. Where is that? Uh, Tokri is well-traveled. No. Uh, tell me about something else. I don't really want a Bronze Colossus anyway. Uh, bop, 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 bop. Be do do, uh, more beasts. Yes, thank you. I need something to make a spear out of. Another bronze colossus. Terrible. Let's move on. Uh, troubles. Any more beasts? Yep, we got more beasts. Planes of paint. See the uh, the shock. Another shock. No. What is what is with this location? Do you know where that is? No? Well, then don't even tell me about it, idiot. Uh, tell me about another beast, please. Eternal thing. Chaos folk, come on. What makes you think Lovecraft belongs in Dwarf Fortress? Why you gotta do this to me? And uh, this, this location is taken up by three different Lovecraft things. Tell me about another one. I swear to God, if it's from Lovecraft in novels, I'm gonna be upset. Um, the Trent! Hey! Alright, there we go. Alright. I should make a staff out of Trent wood. That sounds lethal. Ah, but it would give me Trent logs, and I don't think you can break them up. Uh, uh, we'll see. Okay, um, a great beast on our behalf should bring us much glory. Ford knife is in the saffron jungle. Seek this place if you hunt ord ordrear, bear beans, the riddled razors, the trends. This vile fiend has killed ten in its lust for murder. What did he do? Like go on a rampage in a in a uh, <laughs> in, in a lumber yard? All right, let me just get my notes up in here. Okay, I can move the stuff where I was explaining what happened there, and instead get up in here. Oh boy, do 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 do. E Ordrier. I would do better making note of his uh, last name. Uh, uh, Trent. Uh, Ford knife. I guess I should do it location last. All right, so Trent, his name is um, Bear Beans, which I don't know the translation for. I'll, I guess I'll make note of Ordrier. The thing is, I can't make that little accent on my keyboard very easily. Okay, so Trent Ordrier Bear Beans in Ford Knife, which is in the Saffron Jungle. Saff Jung. All right, whereabouts of Ford, Ford Knife? Tokri. All right, where is Tokri? 
Do, 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 Tokri. Tokri. He's, he's his neighbor. Oh, I've never seen that before. All right, so one of these buildings is Tokri. You are green. Are you Tokri? Animal trainer. Uh, hi, I'm looking for Tokri. Where is Tokri? Wait, I know about a rock somewhere. Uh, he's his neighbor. All right, so not this house. Um, shout to everybody. I'm looking for that Tokri guy. Tokri. Where's Tokri? He's your neighbor. It was inevitable. <laughs> Is uh, Tokri in here anywhere? Hello, I seek Tokri. Oh, traitor. Hello, um, Taman. Uh, nope, bye. Tokri? Uh, Udal. Nope. Tokri? Hello, are you Tokri? Uh, Sathar. Hello, Tokri? I hope he's not the guy I beat up. Katet? Oh boy. Uh, farmer, boyer, surgeon. Oh yeah, that's the guy I beat up. Let me greet him. Uh, Zaki. Thank goodness. Hello, I seek Tokri. No, I'm odd. Hello, I am Tore. Let me tell you about my violent acts. What's the name of the dude I killed? Um, Al Alyssa. Ikakali. Ikakali. Alyssa Ikokwali. Yeah, sure. Um, let me spread a rumor. How do you spread rumor? Right? Oh boy, Alyssa. Possession. These are books. Books. Possession. Possession. Presence. Possession. Oh. What happened? Why can't I bring up that I slew Alyssa? Hmm. Maybe bring up specific instances. I'm not sure how you how you summarize conflicts anymore. Man, things used to be so simple. Remember when there was like a whole menu for interacting with people? Used to be so easy. Back in many day, all you had to do was summarize your kills. You'd walk up to a villager, you'd say, Hey! I killed them! And suddenly everybody'd know, you'd get the respect you deserve! I'm a veteran, goddammit! I demand to be recognized! I'm not making fun of actual veterans. By the way, I am implying that uh, this character has done honorable service and nobody is respecting him for it, which is, uh, I imagine, an issue that real veterans probably deal with. I'm not trying to make light of that. I'm making light of this character. Anyway, but how the hell do you spread... How do you, how do you spread rumors? How do you, how do you, what, what do you do for rumors in this new version? What do you, what do you do? What do you... Yeah, yeah. Dwarf Fortress, spread rumor. How do you spread rumor? Fortress mode. No, that's fortress mode. Adventure, specifically.
All right. There's a there's a passage on something on how to avoid. Oh boy. Nope, not that one. That is not relevant. Nope, that is not relevant information. Rumor system is insane. Who the hell cares that a raven died? <laughs> oh boy. Uh... Fame is pointless, mortal. All right. I just, I just wanna, I just wanna get famous. I miss being famous. I remember killing a dragon, and everybody was like, "Oh, I am graced to have you within my home. Please eat of my children." All right. Well, I can't find it. Maybe I should start taking bards with me. <laughs> oh boy. Ooh, I'm gonna get something real quick for you to listen to. So, what do it Rumor. Right? Nope. Rumor, rumor, nope. Rumor tell. In, uh, in which one humped ant camel attacked me. Slew? Can I tell slew? No, of course not. Patience lat act. Oh, boy. Wow, that looks like freaking Latin over there. Presence. Uh, let me try to figure out the um keyword for killing i've killed things a couple days ago right uh succession succession how do i know about all this stuff failure army reclaim succession reclaim 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 harassment um wow Lots of presences. Lot, I know about a lot of things being in places. Reclaiming. I'm not seeing a single one about killing things. Jesus Christ. Abduction. Artifact. Artifact. Presence. Oh my god, look at all these presences. Conflict. Fight. Alright. Conflict. Alright. Uh, that's, that's, that's not a conflict at all. Okay, uh, Ibex, 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 uh, those Ibexes didn't attack me, I attacked them. Oh, God, uh, lots of badgers, lots of camels, and there's all those camels that I practiced on. Oh, boy, wow, this system is broke as heck. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, hello. Nope. I attacked. I, I, what do you mean? I, yeah, why can't you search? Mm. 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 It shouldn't take that long. I'm definitely going to take some bards with me, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Where am I? Talk reads well traveled. He should know. All right, I'm I'm moving on. Jesus. All right, uh, Sutra, are you Talkri? Ah, uh, hello, I'm Sil. No, you are not Talkri. Are you Talkri? Um. Ah, hello, I'm Shebby. No, you're not Talkri at, at all. God dang it! Where the heck is that guy? God dang it! Why can't I find him? Is he in this one? This this one looks empty. Maybe he's alone in here. Hello, are you Takri? Oh, hello. I'm Henri. No. <sighs> farmer, farmer, woodcutter. Are you Takri? Mido. Do you know where Takri is? Takri. Where's Takri? Takri is my neighbor. Oh, yeah, he's everybody's neighbor, huh? Oh, God, I thought this room was empty. They're just standing in a little row. Hello. Don't travel alone. Do you know where Takri is? I hate this. Takri. Where's Takri? 
He's my neighbor. Holy cow. Is there a meat hall in here? Can we find a meat hall? Maybe Talkery's hanging out there. Maybe that their definition of neighbor is extremely loose. All right, where's the meat hall? Uh, we might not actually have one. Well, there's always a meat hall, right? What? Well, ain't one here. Ain't one here. Well, let's just sleep until dawn. We're gonna have to hunt in the morning. Poopy doopy, zoop de doop. Anyway. Uh. Okay, I found the thing I wanted to reference. My audio is still muted, though, so that I won't subject you to weird YouTube ads that I get on my YouTube account. I have completely different... Like, I, I, have, a, I have an account that I use for, like, watching stuff and listening to music, right? And then I have one that I use for my uploads and stuff, which very rarely I'll watch a video on. And because of how rarely I watch a video on, the interests that YouTube thinks that this account has is crazy. Alright, found the thing. Let me eat, or rather drink. What's over here? Who's this dude? I'll wait until daytime. I seek food! Okay, 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 I found it. Okay. You! So I said that I was, I, I, I was thinking of uh, getting some bards or something. <laughs> to, uh... Why can't I fly? There we go. Hey, a badger, I can eat that. Never mind, the badger saw me. <laughs> um, what do we got down here? Ibexes, hello. Yeah, I can eat them. Anyway, I was talking about taking some bards with me. Bravely Thought of this. Robin brought forth from Camelot. He was not afraid to die. Oh, okay, that's enough. I don't want I don't want them Monty Python guys getting getting on my butt. Anyway. Bravely bold Sir Robin rode forth from Camelot. He was not afraid to die, brave, brave Sir Robin. He was not the least bit afraid to be the bird of Pope. Brave, 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 brave Sir Robin. That's not what I meant to do. Has anybody stood brave enough to not flee in the face of my majesty? Ah, you have not yet seen me. I am the ape. Oh wait, no, I'm not Boric. I'm, <laughs> I'm an owl man. My gentle, my gentle deer, gentle deer of the savanna. I am afraid your time has come, for the predator has found you, and you have proven too unwary. Too unwary to see me. No. Oh, God, I'm sleepy. Too unwary to spot me amongst the clouds before it was too late. This reminds me of the tale of, uh, shucks, uh, the stone and the willow tree. Once there was a Beautiful stone who lived upon the meadow. By the riverside he dwelled, and he called it his home. One evening, or was it a hundred years? Well, to a stone, a hundred years, a single evening, tis all the same. That's the thing about anthropomorphized creatures. You can never truly put a, a number on their perception of time. Why, I was once friends with a uh, 
a little, a little totem, a little icon of my heritage back when my kind was little more than savage birds. Why, I, I put it on my roof, and nightly I would commune with the spirits of, of that, of that little totem thingy. What's going on in here? What, is this the meat hall? Is this the meat hall? This is the meat hall! <laughs> it's pathetic! What is going on here? Uh, <clears throat> and the thing is, every night, he would say, oh, I'm back already. And of course, I found this quite strange until I meditated upon this country. And as luck would have it, I came to an epiphany. Why? Oh, apparently this guy can't hear me or something. I keep greeting him. He's, he just doesn't even want to talk to me. Goodbye. <clears throat> he's, he's, he's still trying to talk. But whatever, I'm still locked into him. <clears throat> A totem simply lacks the mental wherewithal to detect the passing of the sun. And that is why the spirits of inanimate objects cannot, cannot, for all of their wisdom, see the passing of time. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. The story. Now this stone sat upon the riverbank, and there grew a tiny seed in the span of one rock night. Ah, and the seed, he, he grew to be good friends with this rock, or sort of stone thought. And... What am I doing here? What am I doing here? Right, I was looking for that little group, because I thought I might be able to kill it. Um... Oh, you know, while I'm here, I'll, I'll ask about some creatures. All right, yeah, um... Hey, Archer? Oh, Quosa. How about you? Um... Zostra. Whatever. Uh, you got any troubles? Armies? Beasts? Yeah, sure. Beast Brewing trouble? Uh... The seducer of matching is not at war with us, but there's ill will between our peoples. The trouble started because of a dispute over torture. No heckin' way. Alright, anyway, give me your troubles. Uh, beasts. Hydra! Hello! That'll be good. That'll be good. Yes, where is this Hydra? Ah, oh, frickin' Tokri! You gotta tell me to find Tokri. Are you Tokri? Uh oh yes. All right. So what am I looking for? Uh, Robin went more to Camelot. As Senoth, chance of vigor. The Hydra Violpine is killed. Uh, Thirty-one. Uh boy, flayed deep. All right. So let me make note. That'll be notes too. Hydra. What's his name? Oh boy. Kenneth. <laughs> Kenoth. Most clean. He's the cleanest Hydra. Um, where does he live? Mountain of Discovering. Wait, what? Ah, the Flayed Deep. The Flayed Deep. Oh boy. In. Mount of Discovering. Okay. Good notes, and I'm looking for... Uh, wait, where... Who? Where, where'd he go? Start a new conversation with, uh... What? Uh, oh boy. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Wait. Tokri... No, I didn't find Tokri. I thought I did, but I didn't. I didn't. I found Uda, I found Zostra, and... Oh, my God. New conversation. 
Are you? Are you? Talk, talk for you. Um, good to finally meet you. Hey, rumor is spreading. Uh, I'm Ohm. All right. Uh, what about the Lord here? Hello. He, he still. He doesn't. He doesn't talk. Why doesn't he talk? What's going on here? Why is he naked? Why doesn't he talk? What is going on here? Who is this man? Are you just? Do you just like have a have a puppet in here? What's going on? I sense corruption. <laughs> I'm gonna find someplace else. This place is weird. I mean, look at the size of their mead hall. It is at the mead hall. Does someone have a real mead hall? Can we get a real mead hall in here, please? Ah, good, frickin' great. Anyway, as I was saying, the stone sat idle for years, as his friend the willow grew. And as you know, willows take many years to grow to maturity. I am Uzbu. No, uh, it's nice to meet you. Um, let me summarize my conflict. Uh, just real quick. Just to spread it to multiple towns. Um, conflict. Here. Yeah. Willows take many years to grow, and I, in fact, I take just about the lifespan of my species. So, were I to plant a willow now, I would never grow to see it in maturity. Ah, but that is the course of mortality. You must always be thinking of those who come ahead of you. Yes. Alright, so conflict in which I slew cat. Alright, there's where I killed a cat. Where's the um a few hours ago, a few days ago? Where's the one where I slew Ah Halisa? Identify yourself What are you talking about identify myself? It's it's me, I'm Raru. I'm Raru, yep. I'm I'm telling you I'm Raru. Yeah, you identify yourself, I'm Raru. Alright. I'm I'm just gonna walk away. I'm gonna talk to somebody else. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh no! Now he's hostile. No, come on! I didn't even do anything. God dang it! <laughs> oh boy! Don't trust a goblin. Tell you what. When the stone grew to be uh, seven hundred and thirty-nine, why it was his. Favorite birthday of all, that is why the historical saga documents have made note of it. He suddenly felt a sharp pain in his rear. Why, it just so happened that for many years, this, this sly, bendy willow had been extending its roots in all directions, and its ambition, its desire to grow, had split the stone in two. His roots burrowed into the rock, and as we see every day amongst hunters, humans, all predatory things, Lows with the greater ambition are far more dangerous. And a willow, a willow, when in a storm, will bend. A willow is, is, is bendy and he falls. This reminds me of a story I once heard about the willow and the oak. Once there was a pair of trees. Now, this will accentuate my point about willows being not trustworthy. Now, this willow, uh, he had warned the oak, I, in several months' time, there will be a great upheaval, a massive storm that will rip trees from their roots, and he warned the oak, why, you may want to button down the hatches, my dear, my, my dear mate. <laughs> Ah, but the oak said, No! I am mighty, I am strong. 
I will withstand any storm. Why am I even talking to this guy? I wanted to find the meat hall. Right. Because this man's useless. And the willow, though he try as he might, could not warn the oak enough. And in several months there came the storm. The willow saw it on the horizon, and he said, Oak, my friend, you must yield to the storm, or it will blow you in half. And the oak said, Nay, you lack faith in my strength. And the oak said, I will withstand the storm. So the willow and the oak, when it came time for the storm to sweep over them, and they saw the trees flying through the air in the distance, the willow loosened its branches, and as the wind flew over it, it bent, it bent and wove through the storm like a serpent, and though it cracked, it did not break, all because it was willing to adapt, willing to bend to the storm. However, the oak, who had tried to remain stable, straight and strong, it was unable though it was strong to withstand the winds. I would gander, blah, 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 I would gander the winds were at least twenty leagues. <coughs> and that's about enough to push, uh, push over a, a goblin tower, I, I'd, I'd wager. Ooh, it's very, hold on a sec. Had to cough a little bit. <coughs> so, the moral of the story is weak people will bend and through their slyness win over the strong. For the willow stood when the oak did not. And that is why you cannot trust a willow tree. <coughs> Moving on with the story now. Uh, no, I don't want to talk to the Lord. I want to talk to his uh, henchman. Uh, Cogath? Sure, I'll talk to you, since you uh, took the initiative and agreed, agreed to me. Moving on with the story. Uh, <clears throat> the, 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 uh... Neighbors, mission, beast? Yes. The willow tree was faster and more ambitious than the stone, and ripped it in twain, and like a predator, sapped its nutrients, sucked its life force, and the stone said, why, why, my dear friend of many years, and the widow said, it's the cycle of life, my friend. For I am the predator, and you are the prey. And as we all know, the favored prey of a tree is rocks. For what is slower than a tree? But a rock, I would wager. A rock may take many years to move a single inch, whereas a tree is ever expanding through the soil. Soil there. Um... Is in the hills and see the place. Swamp Titan. All right, yeah, decent. Um, can you tell me where it is? Ah, of course, bunch of dang idiots around here. All right, can you uh, let me make note of that? Okay. And thus concludes the story of of the willow and the stone. Um da 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 Alright <clears throat> the uh Swamp Titan Hideous Oh uh, uh, that's where he lives. Okay, the hideous what's his name? Okay, I was reading in the wrong order, so his name is Aknun. Aknun Rosie Dales. 
the in the hideous cloud in what region? Hill of Combining. Cool. Unfortunately, he doesn't know where he is. Uh, how about the other one? Um, how about the Hydra? Kenoth. No, 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 I need its location. Um, okay, yes, okay, that's directions. Um, play it deep, you know? Yeah, of course, of course not. Bye. Well, let me talk about, talk about that guy I killed. Let me talk about that guy I, I killed. Um, conflict. There should really be a slew shortcut for when you kill somebody, you know? Um, which I slew Impala. That's the most recent one. A honey Badger attacked. Ah, slew Elisa. It was inevitable. I like how he he, uh, he immediately repeated the rumor I said. <laughs> right. Um. Crossbowman, you look green. Know ye where my hydra dwells? May you direct me to my quarry. Fable. No, not fable. Um. What is it? The flayed. Flayed. Deep. Where's that at? Great. Great. Fantastic. All right. Who's this guy? Oh, his dogs. Alright, well, this was useless right here. Great. Where now? I guess I'll head down to that big city down there. Someone probably knows where they're, um... Which is where? Southwest! And I might be able to find a temple to des desecrate. Unless I can just straight up find a vampire. That'd be, <clears throat> that'd be real heckin' convenient. Because, you know, werebeast, convenient for regeneration purposes. A uh, vampire, convenient for everything else. If I can, like, get him to pool some blood onto the ground, and then I can, like, get a flask. Speaking of which, I might want to make some flasks just, um, to keep stuff in. Uh, you know, just in case. Like, if I happen to run into a vampire, I probably won't be able to run out to find materials to make stuff out of. Um, before the blood dries. Okay, where is that town? Uh, the next cluster of uh, buildings. Great. Alright, I'll find some place to sleep here. Ah. Alright, I'm gonna get out of that wind. How about this wind? No, no, no. Let's just hang out in silence for a little while. Ah, nice. I'm sorry for doing bad accents. I was just having fun. Oh, raw, I need more coffee, dude. By the way, um, if you're familiar with the mod that I'm using for the crafting and stuff, um... Could you give me a little advice? Uh, how do you make edible wild plants into their edible form? It's from what I've experienced, you pick them and they're in the form that needs processing, right? What do you mean surrounding obstacles? What do you mean surrounding obstacles? Whatever. Anyway, they're in their non-edible form. What is this guy? And it's frustrating in case I need like need need food badly. Who's this boy? Jesus Christ, come on. There we go. Oh, it's a dwarf. But he is some kind of bandit? <clears throat> Hail! Hail, sir. Hail, sir. Hello, great horned owl man. I am Ilral. I am Ilral. Construct tests. Don't do not travel alone at night. Well, how are you feeling? 
Sound in the rain. So exacerbating. You look like a traveler. Um, bandits, vermin, bone chilling horror. Bone chilling horror. Hello. You got a vampire? Well, goings on over in the tower. Ah, frickin' necromancers. Never mind. Ooh, hold on. Does becoming a necromancer freeze your aging? I might want to become a necromancer. That sounds pretty neat. That sounds like a pretty fun uh, shift If I <clears throat> If I can become a, a necromancer, um, Rauru would be immortal without the drawback of having to kill things. Right? Hmm. As long as I... Uh, like, if I ever retire him and want to bring him into a fortress or something, as long as I keep him... keep him from getting into combat and thus raising a zombie apocalypse, causing a loyalty cascade, probably, <laughs> um... I could have, like, an immortal, badass owl vi librarian, dude. Ooh... I'm digging that idea. All right. Anyway. <clears throat> Have ye any other troubles, fair dwarf? Uh, beasts? Beasts? Where are the beasts? Hill Titan. Thirteen! By God, somebody needs to kill this fiend! Where? Where may I find it? Ooh! He actually gave me a description. Um, where be it? Let's see. Um, do 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 hill, jill titan? No, hill titan. Hill titan. Um, in paddled canyons. Uh, hill of combining, which is where the swamp titan is as well. For some reason, that doesn't sound like a swamp, but whatever. Um, oh, I forgot to make note of his name. Uh, his name is Talon Growth Tuft. Talon Growth Tuft. The twig of combining. Sweet, dude. Alright, so, where is it? Pa paddle, paddle? Where is, uh, sites? Filter. Paddle. Uh, no, that's, uh, shrine? I wanna find the shrine. Oh, boy! Oh, boy! No, I wanna... Okay, okay, I see. Uh, pipe. Sites. Paddle. Alright, where where the heck is that? Oh my god. Oh my god. There is no way I'm gonna make it over there. Never mind. It's in the... It's literally in the furthest corner of the map. You cannot get any further than that. What the fuck, dude? Why would you make your home there? Ah. Uh. Never mind. Oh. I'm gonna have to find my own adventure. God dang it. Oh, I somehow flew up. What happened? Oh, yeah, I'm too close to the river now, too. What? <sighs> it's about time for me to start heading off to record Gothic now. I'm having fun tonight. Let me go ahead and stop here and save it. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.